Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Mona's channel with Mona Mentors. I am so excited that you guys decided to tune in today. Remember to click the subscribe button. Today I want to kind of share with you guys something that I hold dear to my heart, something that is very, very special, um, and it is the serenity prayer. This week I was feeling really, really sad because of a loss that I experienced, and there's nothing worse than um, losing a child let alone a God child. And at certain points, you're good sometimes, and then sometimes you're not so good. And so um, the serenity prayer helped me in realizing that, okay, when you lose a loved one, you can't bring them back. So you can't change that. You can't give up and you can't lose it. You have to stay going. You have to keep moving. And so you must find ways um, to be able to encourage yourself to lift you up, to bring about some positive emotions and try to get rid of the negative emotions. Because remember, um, depression, anxiety, um, grief, and all these different things are a part of life. And everyone goes through these depression, grief, um, feelings of loss and you know down emotions. At some point in time, Everyone is going to experience that. And I think the serenity prayer is a great prayer to be able to work um, on our emotions, our feelings, and to be able to keep ourselves healthy mentally. So the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity prayer to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And remember, we're asking God to help us and to give these to us. Give us serenity. Give us peace within our mind, our spirit, and our soul. And at a point in time, we're going to have to be able to connect our spirit with the spirit of God. How do we do that? You, can't, you can connect spiritually and fellowshipping and going to a building, to a church building, but you also have to be able to have your own personal relationship with God and connect with God in a spiritual way. We are struggling with so many things in this world. So much is going on. As you know, I specialize in working with families who are experiencing substance use, addiction, and involvement with Children's Protective Services. Some of the horrific things that I see on the news on a day-to-day -day basis about what is going on with children, being hurt, being raped, being sexually abused, being killed, being physically abused, being bullied in the school system. The serenity prayer works for me. And it is how I live my life. And I can accept the things that I cannot change. I'm asking God. And so acceptance is one of the last stages of grief and loss. Acceptance. It's a great place to be. I've done everything I can. There's nothing else I can do. I'm going to accept that this is what's happening. And I'm going to ask God to give me the strength to keep going. And to give me peace within my mind and my spirit and serenity and wisdom wisdom many of us do not pray for wisdom we need wisdom and understanding on a day-to-day -day basis you get this from your life experiences you get your knowledge from reading your Bible from connecting with God and learning what his purpose is for your life that is how you get your wisdom. Many things happen to us so that God can get the glory. Remember that. And this is what helps us to be able to make better choices, better decisions, and to be able to help us to be able to change and move forward. One of the most important things I learned that can get people down is being in unhealthy relationships, toxic relationships, which can also be an addiction. And you have to be careful of who 
you surround yourself around and who you're hanging out with. This could be an intimate relationship. This can be a family relationship. This could be your friends and your social network. Remember to keep everything and every, everyone around you positive. The last thing we're going to share today is your quote that, I, that, that um, I'm going to give to you. Accepting Christ means agreeing with him about your sin and asking him for forgiveness. Asking Christ for forgiveness. Okay, and that get that that allows you the opportunity to get rid of the, the guilt, to get rid of the shame. So what if someone brings it up and they try to talk about, oh, where you were on drugs and you had a CPS case and this happened and he didn't want you anyway because he went with somebody else. You wasn't doing your job trying to keep your man. You ain't listening to none of his negativity. Because now you have a relationship with God. The things that have happened to you, the things that you've done to hurt other people, um, they're forgiven. That's a great place to be. And you have to forgive other people. If you can't forgive other people, you're going to be miserable inside. And it's going to be hard for you to be able to um, change the things that you can change. Which is a part of what we're talking about in the serenity prayer. And so I leave with you a prayer that you will allow God to work in your life. Read your serenity prayer. Tune in to your spirit connection with God. And forgive yourself. Accept the fact that God has forgiven us. Jesus already died on the cross. Positive emotions. When negative emotions pop up, replace them with a positive emotion. I'm so thankful to be here. I didn't have to wake up this morning. I didn't have to have my wonderful children in my life. God blessed me with that. He blessed me with a job. He blessed me with family and loved ones who care for me. And I am grateful of that for today. And I will change the things that I can. I will change my attitude about what happens to me and not react in a negative way, but taking as a stepping stone, as a learning experience, so you can use a serenity prayer to really bring peace, peace to your life. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Remember to subscribe, and I look forward to meeting with you in our next session.